Reef Bum is sponsored by Bulk Reef Supply and Ecotech Marine. You know, there, there's a lot of nuances I, I, I find in terms of, um, you know, using calquas or lime water. A lot of questions that uh, I think are interesting. Like, you, you know, you hear about, um, and you mentioned this in your talk, using pickling lime or food grade, you know, calcium hydroxide, you know, that it's cheap, right. what have you. How, how important is the quality, the grade of the lime water that you're using? Can you get by with the pickling lime or does it make sense if you want to invest the money in high grade you know calcwasser is would that be a better way to go so uh, when you mix calcium hydroxide um, you will uh, precipitate some possible impurities in the system so if you dispense clarified lime water, the clear product, not the turbid stuff on the bottom or the film that occurs on the top, um, you'll have a lot less of certain impurities. Um, so there's all the, I shouldn't say all, many of the like heavy metal compounds that might be there um, often have really insoluble hydro, uh, uh, insoluble hydroxide salts and they're they're gone they're at the bottom of the basin um, magnesium is really insoluble at lime water ph so uh, there's no magnesium that will come into your system uh, if you're dosing calcium hydroxide uh, through dosing clarified lime water i remember that in the a long time ago somebody had a product where they were putting uh it was supposed to be a mixture of calcium hydroxide and magnesium hydroxide and that was just like you know dude you need to figure out some chemistry before you start selling stuff to people um so that that didn't last very long i think i i did that to it enough that it went away and people don't do that anymore but that's you know uh and i think that that's that's actually also part of the reason why um, it was reputed early on that Dosing lime water would cause magnesium to precipitate out of your system. And uh, as nearly as I can tell, unless you have one of the, like the wipeout events that I showed in, in my magna talk, where you put in so much that you're actually making magnesium hydroxide uh, form, that the magnesium drops that people were seeing were really just from coralline algae growing mm. in the aquariums. Um, so, um, redirect me to your original question. I think I've kind of, kind of gotten off of the weeds do, here. Does, does, the, um, does a higher grade of um, calcwasser okay. matter? So, um, it it, I think it depends. Um, one of the things that uh, the lower grades of lime water probably have uh, in, in more abundance is some silica. And you, you can have a couple of different opinions about that. Uh, I've always been of the opinion that that's kind of a good thing because it promotes the growth of diatoms in your aquarium over other stuff. Um, and, you know, diatoms are the grass of the sea. So if you're going to have any algae besides symbiotic algae in your, in your corals and maybe pink coralline algae, if, if you like that, I, I certainly do. Um, Diatoms are my next choice because uh, the snails eat them. You know, the comb tooth tangs and blennies and everybody, everybody eats diatoms. Um, and, uh, and yeah, they grow in your glass. You know, the solution to that is as simple as that. And then, then, then they're gone. Uh, but certainly lower grades of lime water could have more silica and high pH will, uh, mobilize, solubilize the silica in the product um, 
pretty effectively. So that's one thing that could show up in, in a lower grade of, of lime water. Um, there's some other stuff that doesn't follow the rules of insoluble hydroxide. So if there was maybe arsenic or some other stuff that, that has uh, kind of an anionic uh, uh, hydrolysis form in water, you might get some impurities uh, like that in, in the system as well. Um, but uh, settling lime water, settled lime water is kind of a self-purifying system in a lot of regards. Um, so that's why people can get by with the lower lower grades of lime. Um, certainly there's, there's like, if you can afford the higher grade stuff, um, I don't think you're gonna hurt yourself, right? Um, and you can have more certitude and maybe uh, lower diatom growth if that's important to you as well. But I've managed aquariums with, uh, you know, food grade lime in the past, and that that's worked out. That worked out okay for me. 